every home solo Bitcoin miner should be running their own node and their own pool. The team over at Bitcoin Merch made this insanely easy with their plug and play home node. All right, so let's get this unboxed. I have been hyped and eager to see someone come out with something just like this for a little while now, especially since I did my video not too long ago on building your own home Bitcoin node with like a spare PC or something. But I've been eager to see who was gonna come out with a product that kind of has a full node ready to go. And there's a few other alternatives out there. Some of them just are really hard to get in stock, but this one, not only is it readily available, but it's got RGB, which I'm sold on. So first thing out of the box here, we do have a Raspberry Pi 27 watt USB-C power supply. We're gonna circle back to this here. Then this is what we're all waiting for. And here we have it. So this is the Node X from the team over at Bitcoin Merch. And I'm gonna squat down here a little bit and show you guys what we got going on. So right away we have this really slick acrylic glass. Um, and uh, we do have this nice chassis. This reminds me of like some of the PC, the little AI PCs I've been building recently. And I just love to see some of the components in there. And that's what they've done with this. A little small Bitcoin node, you can run at home. I'm absolutely running this like right over here on my shelf in my basement. It'll be slick, something fun to look at. Plus it has the RGB fans on the back. Now, the nice thing is this comes out of the box, plug and play, ready to go. It has Umbral OS installed on it, as well as the Bitcoin node or Bitcoin core downloaded on it already. You can install Bitcoin uh, the knots if you're interested. I know there's a big discussion on core versus knots uh, and we can get up and running pretty easily. Power button right here on the front, a little SD card as well. I think this might be a little screen from what I'm seeing there, uh, but we do have a solid state drive that I can see through the acrylic glass, as well as a nice little heat sink in there uh, as well. And then on this side here, we have all of our inputs, USB, USB 3, Ethernet, which I absolutely recommend if you're running your own node, two HDMI ports, which is pretty wild, and a USB Type-C, which we'll go ahead and pair up with this. So I'm excited for this. There's been a lot of people that have reached out that are like, hey, I don't have the technical know-how or the time to go ahead and build my own um, Bitcoin node at home, but I'd love to just buy something out of the box. And that's exactly what this is. A plug and play Bitcoin node that also has a pool involved for all your home solo Bitcoin needs. This is gonna be perfect for me running it at home right here on my shelf. All right, let's get this plugged in. All right, so let's get this set up here. I always like to check the watts uh, at the wall, um, not only for me, but for you guys too. So we'll go ahead and plug in our watt meter here. Uh, here is the Raspberry Pi USB type C cable. Nothing too, too crazy. Um, as we talked about 27 watts. Um, so it's not like we're, at least that's what we're, it says on the box. We're, we're not breaking the bank here uh, with power supplies and we're not using a massive amount of power for something like this, especially with a Raspberry Pi. So I'm gonna steal the ethernet cable off my little test bench over here. And let's scoot that around here. Get that all plugged in, which is nice. And uh, let's go ahead and plug us in on the back side here. Whoa, check that out. All right, I'm gonna turn off the lights real quick to give you guys a little bit better of a view because let's be honest, all this extra RGB adds extra horsepower, right? It gives us extra Bitcoin. <laughs> all reality, it absolutely does not, but it looks totally badass. I'm totally gonna run this back behind me here um, on this bookshelf and shelf setup. This is really, really slick. So what I'm gonna look for now is my, my uh, home um, firewall is actually gonna give me an alert that a new device has been added to my network uh, and it's going to give me the IP address for this. Now, if you don't have something like that and you're like, okay, how do I find the IP address to log in and configure this and set it up and such? Uh, there's actually an address, I'll put it directly down below. We'll look at it over on the computer. Uh, a local web address that will go ahead and find this for you instantly and bring it up to make your life much, much easier. Oh my gosh, I'm so sold. Look at that, that's so cool. All right, let's jump over to the computer and take a closer look at this Bitcoin node from the team over at Bitcoin Merch. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Bitcoin Merch X Node Mini Bitcoin full node here. And I'm gonna be honest, like, I'm still amazed how badass this thing looks. And I'm also really impressed with Bitcoin Merch on putting this together. 
Uh, the fact that like you have this little itty bitty hardware with everything done for you. So when you come over to the product page here, there's actually a setup guide here at the bottom and they've literally like done everything for you. So it's like out of the box, ready to go. So they talk about in this guide, going ahead and plugging it in and then opening up your web browser and you can go to the website umbral.local and it'll search locally for that uh, web address and it comes up really easy. So that's exactly what I did here. Um, so right now I know the IP address because I talked about my firewall providing it to me, but if you don't know it up here at the browser, you'll see umbral.local. It just went ahead and found it for us. Now, because we didn't set it up, we need the credentials. So the username's root and the password's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to come up here. We'll close one of these and one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll get logged in. And if you guys haven't seen Umbral before, this is the dashboard. Real simple, real easy to use, very newbie, beginner friendly. And I think you'll be really, really comfortable with this. All right. So taking a look at the specs of this plug and play home Bitcoin node, you can see it's actually pretty decent. So it's running on a Raspberry Pi 5. Uh, and you, on the left hand side, the storage is actually two terabytes and really surprising because like right now storage as well as memory is pretty pricey. Uh, and right now we have two terabytes of storage with that NVMe and we're just over four gigabytes of memory total. So, you know, just enough to get by with everything we need. And the nice thing is we have plenty of room for storage for the growth of the Bitcoin blockchain. So they've gone ahead and actually installed the apps that we're going to need to run our own node at home and also to go ahead and mine to that with our solo Bitcoin miners here at home. Now, the guide actually walks you through the fact of syncing your Bitcoin node first, which I always highly recommend. So when we come over to Umbral, there's actually Bitcoin node right here. Uh, you can just go ahead and click on it. And this is the core Bitcoin node. If you guys want, there's also a not Bitcoin node. Go ahead and feel free to do your research, look into both of them. You want to let this sync 100%. And it could take some time. Depending on your internet speeds, could take a day, could take a week. Um, it really depends on how fast your internet is. But the nice thing is, once it's synced, it'll keep it up to date, uh, which is really, really convenient. Now, jumping back to Umbral here, the next big one in here is Public Pool. Now, this is not, this is developed by the Public Pool team, but it's not connected to any outside source. Um, this is your own individual open source Public Pool stratum. So, like, you're running your own pool here, guys which is totally badass. But now that we've gotten this far, we need a miner to actually mine to this pool. Thanks to the team over at Bitcoin Merch, we have the Bitax Gamma 601 Home Solo Bitcoin Miner. But I don't want it. I want to give it to one of you guys. So today we're giving away this Bitax Gamma thanks to the team over at Bitcoin Merch. And we're going to use it today to go ahead and mine directly to our own solo pool with the X node. So we're going to go ahead and give this away at the end of the video. Stay tuned. I've gone ahead and got this set up on my home Wi-Fi. Let me jump over to the computer and we'll go ahead and configure this to mine to this. All right, so I've logged in to our Bitax Gamma here. It's actually up and mining already with my previous configuration, but let me show you how easy this is. And the guide that the team over at Bitcoin Merch has put together, they literally lay it out for you. So like, honestly, if you're kind of concerned or you're, you're hesitant on, man, I really want to run my own solo Bitcoin node at home. I want to mine at home solo, but I'm just not super comfortable. Guys, this walks you through it step by step. I can't make it any easier. So over on our bid axe, we're going to go to settings on the left hand side, and we're going to remove the stratum information as well as the port. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to keep our Bitcoin address in there. And if you actually come over to these instructions, they actually give you, okay, where do you need to mine to? But the nice thing is if you go back over to Umbral and we click on public pool, take a look at the top. It just shows you right here. Hey, mine right to this address right here. Now I have two umbral nodes currently internally so i'm actually going to use not the host name here i'm going to use the ip address so we can mine directly to it so we're just going to go ahead i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it in here and i'm going to replace that uh with the ip address because i'm already running one here uh so stratum plus tcp colon slash slash one into one six eight eighty six dot one eighty eight colon 2018 but then it's like oh wait for the syntax they don't want this beginning part so we're going to gut that out and then oh wait they don't want the port either so we're going to gut that out so now we just have the ip address and now i'm going to put 2018 
I have my Bitcoin user, my Bitcoin address in here. That's kind of like your account name. And then I'm going to name this and I'm going to call it uh, Bitax giveaway. And I'm just going to put in my password as X. Now you can always set up an outside pool to be your kind of failover. If your internal pool, it goes down or whatever. So I've set that up here with CK pool and I just have this there. And here I'll just go ahead and update the name. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. I'm going to put an X for the password. Now you do have the ability to overclock with these Bitax units, but for today's video and today's purposes, we're not going to do that. So I'm going to hit save here. And I always, always, always reboot miners after I've applied any settings to them. So I'm going to hit restart on the left hand side and I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, time for today's video giveaway. Huge shout out to the team over at Bitcoin Merge for providing us the Bitax Gamma for today's review of the X node home solo Bitcoin node. So on this guy, how do you enter the giveaway? Well, simple and easy. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to know how many Terahash you guys currently have solo mining Bitcoin. It could be zero. You're just getting started. You don't have any home solo Bitcoin miners, or you could be a ways into it and have a hundred Terahash. Leave a comment directly down below, and in two weeks, I'll pick one winner, and I will ship this anywhere in the world covering the upfront shipping. If you guys got some weird tariffs or taxes or whatever, that's on you, but I will at least cover this. So in two weeks, we will give this away to one lucky winner. So if you guys do decide to go ahead and buy this plug and play home Bitcoin node, I wanna go ahead and give you a heads up. The price is a little bit up there. It's $599. So it is a little bit pricey to say the least, but keep in mind, you're not only paying for all the hardware and the NVMe and the memory and all of that, but you're also paying for someone's time who has gone ahead and already set this up entirely with Umbral OS, with the Bitcoin node, and also with public pool. So there's a little bit of give and take here, especially on that price. Now, if we go ahead and hit add to cart, I do have a discount code that they have provided me with this. So when you get to checkout here, there should be an option for us. Yep. To go ahead and put in the hobbyist miner and we'll hit apply. And that's going to go ahead and give us a $25 discount on the price. We'll drop, you know, and that kind of gives you an idea as to, okay, well, you know, all in, what is this going to be? So you're about $587 total, all said and done if you use the discount code, the hobbyist miner. All right. So that's going to wrap things up for today's video. Huge shout out to the team over at Bitcoin Merch for sending us over the X node. Guys, this thing is totally badass. I cannot wait. I think I'm gonna set it up right here over on my shelf in there with a Nintendo controller and our little Bitcoin ducky in there. I think I'm gonna set it up over there and get the rest of my home solo miners configured over to this. I have that HP Pro and I'll just go ahead and repurpose that PC for another project. This will absolutely do the trick. All right, guys, I'll leave links directly down below to this miner as well as the Bitax Gamma if you're interested. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.